couple rules of thumb. Um, one is about trees. If you see a deciduous tree, that's about shade. If you see a coniferous tree, it's about blocking wind or blocking view. It's just one of those things. So you place deciduous trees where you want shade. Uh, you place coniferous trees where you want to block wind or views. Um, that can get a little more complicated. You start getting into it. But um, essentially, if it says block the wind for the patio, you put a few trees over there. Don't put a deciduous tree because that will fail you. Um, when you're measuring, think about uh, what you're going to measure with. Like I said on the previous vignette, um, circles is sort of a, a classic example. You can use circles very quickly and easily to see distances. Um, it's an easy tool. But if you're talking about for uh, driveways, it may be better to use rectangles. right? So find the tool that works for you. Sometimes people will use rectangles only to the center line of where they think the driveway wants to go. So one edge is actually the center line. Um, if you start uh, using the program a little bit, you'll find the way that works for you, but look for those as issues, like find a system that works. It's not always going to be circles. It's not always going to be rectangles. Um, so you may have noticed on the example that I showed a second ago uh, around the uh, pond, there were a bunch of, whole bunch of circles. That was uh, somebody testing to make sure that on an unusual shape, like a pond has an unusual uh, pattern to it, and so uh, it's hard to do a measuring tool. But if you put a bunch of circles next to it, it's very quick and easy to say if that's a if it's a 20 foot setback from the from the pond, and there's a 20 foot circle there, you can quickly see that it meets or doesn't meet it, uh, in that. So you're looking for those kind of fast paced ways of uh, thinking about it. Every once in a while, you're actually going to measure stuff, but pretty rare. Um, Most of the time, you're just kind of using those other things. And another piece here is. If you already are uh, sure, if it's obvious that something meets the right, uh, don't spend time measuring it. Don't put a bunch of circles uh, next to a pond for the sake of measuring it if you already know that you're well pat. Like put one in, if everything's obviously clear of it. Don't spend time putting five more in. Um, I, I've seen people, people have talked to me about, I haven't seen them, but people have talked to me about how they realized that they put in like a hundred circles around something like a pond. Like, why? You know, they don't, it's there for you. It's not there for anybody else. So if once you feel comfortable, stop and move on to the next thing. Time is of the essence. Um, follow the rules. Don't do anything extra. Uh, you think, wow, it would be really great if I put these coniferous trees in here to uh, bl block the wind. But wouldn't it be nice if we filled that whole area with trees? And wouldn't it be nice that, like, that's getting into beautiful? Don't do that. Uh, the more you do that's extra and beyond, the more likely you're going to do something that actually causes you trouble in some way that you didn't realize. Uh, there's going to be a tree that is too close to a roadway or there's going to be some, it's just, it's going to look inefficient. It's not, doesn't, it's not going to make any sense. Blackspectacles.com is the home of online learning for architecture and design. You can go to blackspectacles.com, kind of get a taste of this online ARE prep curriculum we built with AI Chicago and Mike, covering all seven sections of the exam. And there are free tutorials in every one of those courses. As a part of today's session, you're eligible for coupon codes for your ARE membership. 15% off the monthly membership and 30% off an annual membership all through the end of the month. And we're doing group memberships. So if you want to get one for your firm or you want your firm to buy one for you, you can go to blackspectacles.com slash business or just email me. We're running a promotion again where business memberships are 15% off as well. Our next webinar is going to be different. What we're going to do is we're going to sort of have a no holds barred Q&A session with Mike. It's not specific to an exam. Whatever exam you're working on, you have a question, you've tried to solve a vignette and you don't like your answer, you're unsure about your answer, put it in a PDF and email it to me. And what we'll do is we're just going to take them first come first serve and everyone who submits them will take an hour and Mike will answer them one after the other. So it'll be a cool event because if you actually have a question, you can get a real answer. And if you just want to see what other people are kind of wrestling with, it'd be a great way to learn from other people's questions and problems and so on. So that's going to be on April 22nd.